John, welcome back to the farm. Today and tomorrow, we've got chickens, 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 and more chickens. So if you guys enjoy chickens, stay tuned. So guys, we've been doing a lot with our chickens lately. If you've been following the channel, if you haven't, welcome. We hope that you choose to subscribe and support our small farm. Um, we've got the egg layers out there. We need to go feed them tonight because they're running out. Um, we've got more meat birds coming. We put our other meat birds from the brooder outside in the new chicken tractor. If you haven't seen that, that was the last video. Go ahead and check that out. But uh, they are doing awesome out there. Um, we do have this brooder cleaned out. We moved our older Cornish to this brooder and obviously some midget white turkeys in there with them. We may be moving those out shortly. Not really sure where to put them yet. So they're just hanging out with their chicken friends. But tomorrow we've got 61 more Cornish coming. So we've got this set up. I just need to take down this divider. We're gonna have them all in the same pen. We've got their water ready, their feed ready. Although I will take the feed out because we don't want them. We want them just to have water for the first couple hours and then we'll put the feed back in. But we've got a lot going on. Tomorrow picking up chicks. Tomorrow butchering, we're not going to show much of the butchering, but we'll, we've got a how to butcher a chicken video. If you haven't seen that, check that one out here, but we've got to go get these chickens fed. So let's load up our cart. We'll show you how all the egg laying chickens are doing out in their new spot. Okay guys, so the chickens have been doing amazing. We have loved having them together. Our jobs are much easier. We had a lot of tips or suggestions as to what to do, hanging these caps. We do put these caps in at the evening feed and they eat all that they've spilled on the ground the rest of the evening. Um, this one cap fell off obviously, but this is the first time I've had to fill these. It's been about a week. Um, so what I did, I just loaded up six bags of feed one bag fills about two and a half of these five gallon buckets. So we're gonna get this fed. Normally I would do this in the morning, except tomorrow, as I've already said, we've got baby chicks coming in the morning and we've got butchering going on. So I need to go as quick as I can to get chores done in the morning. So that's why I'm gonna fill them up now. Okay, so it took us four and a half bags to fill up all that we needed to fill. Um, once one was empty, I just left the caps in during the day. That way they'd go to the other ones and eat up that feed before I put new feed out. And that has worked really well. So not too bad. It's been a week since I've had to fill these. And uh, for as many birds as we have, I'm okay with that. So four and a half bags in a week will be good there. So if you guys remember, let's do a little trivia here. If you guys are a big Casey Farms fan, which there might be three or four of you out there, not including my family, but uh, if you're a fan, how many egg laying chickens did we have in that video? First person to answer that correctly, we'll shoot you out a shirt, Casey Farms or a Make the Chain shirt. How many egg laying chickens do we have? And it's kind of tricky. If you paid attention to that last video, it's kind of tricky. So make sure you uh, watch the whole video to see how many egg laying chickens that we have. So water has worked out great. Love having the hose. We had someone comment about putting a shade cloth over. We may do that. Um, it's been so easy to fill these up and get them ready for the mornings, but we are ready. I got the feeds ready. All I gotta do is come out and take the caps out in the morning, move the chick shaws forward, and we will be ready to go, so. Anyway, wanted to get that done tonight because tomorrow is a crazy busy day. We're going to be following along. We're getting new chicks, harvesting chickens, and we'll talk about chickens. So we'll see you in the morning.
right guys welcome back to the farm good morning we've got good and bad news good news is all the chickens are out and are excited to have full feeders bad news is we have not yet got a call from the post office about our meat birds being there so that usually means they're gonna be one more day last time they took this long we had a bunch of loss so I'm a little bit disappointed about that um, Anyway, I've got a lot of processing to do today, so I'm gonna finish up these chores. We've got a whole bunch of pigs to feed, and uh, we'll get up there and start processing birds. Hopefully they'll call us before we start processing would be nice, but I'm thinking they're not gonna be here till tomorrow because if they haven't called me by now, usually they're not in. So disappointing, but we'll do the best we can with what we've got. Let's uh, finish up these chores and head up and start processing birds. Okay, we just finished setting up our butcher station. No call from the post office, so definitely they'll be here tomorrow, which stinks. Uh, but we're all set up. We've got our scalding water, chicken plucker, the main part of the operation. We've got our kill cones, and we are ready. We'll be saving necks, feet, hearts, and livers today. Um, like I said, I'm not going to show a whole lot of this. Uh, we're just filling up our coolers and getting ready. Our water is at temperature. Got the coolers going. Get those filled up, get some ice in there. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll have chicken ready for our customers this weekend, which is always an exciting time. So let's get started. All right, guys, long morning, but that chore is done. Got all our birds put up in the coolers. We'll wait till later this evening, and then we'll start going through our order list and piecing up and putting our whole birds up. It stinks that the chicks didn't come today. Um, we're expecting them tomorrow, so I'm expecting some loss since it took a little while, but We'll stay in this video and uh, we'll go get those chicks tomorrow morning, get them in the brooder, see what we have, see if we got any extra losses from an extra day in the post office. So stay tuned. We'll wrap this up tomorrow, getting our brand new chicks. Well, good morning, guys. You hear that lovely brand new baby chick sound. Our chicks came in today, uh, day late. I've already peeked in the box. We do have a couple losses, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I hope you've enjoyed this chicken video. Uh, Jamie and I finished processing. Her mom was helping us package up last night. Got done around nine o'clock, so it was an all day thing, but it's always nice to have the freezers full. People at the markets are gonna be happy. Some people are gonna be mad because we keep selling out and they get to the market a little late. But anyway, we're gonna get these chickens home and uh, get them in the brooder. And we're gonna hope they do well. Last time they were a day late, we had some losses a day or two afterwards, uh, just cause they're a little weak. But we've got some sugar in the water to help them get some energy and perked up. As you can hear, they sound like they're doing pretty well. So uh, we are just about home. We'll get these guys out and uh, get their heat lamps on and get them in the brooder. All right, well, at least our new post office is calling us before nine. They called me right before six o'clock to let me know they were in. So that has been a great change for us. 
But these guys have not been fed yet. But I'm not bringing you food right now. Give me a minute. I forgot. This is just a chicken video. I wasn't supposed to show you that. But guys, we've had a great time with the chickens. I hope you've enjoyed. We showed the egg layers. We've showed the meat birds. Um, I guess we showed one dual purpose chicken. We've got the one Bulefeld rooster back there. But I hope you guys get in interested in chickens. If you haven't had any, you just get a couple for eggs. I can't get this door with all these hands taken up. But we'll get in here and get these chickens put in the brooder. All right, well, my camera shut off getting them out of the box, but uh, this is the most we've got at one time. We got 61 here. We did have five not make it in the box. They are a little bit lethargic, but uh, I'm not surprised since they're an extra day, but they're all getting some drinks. We do have some sugar in that water. I'm gonna take the feeders out for an hour or so, just so they're just drinking. We don't want them to have that feed right away. We can get them a little energy, then we'll come back and we'll put that feed in. I'm hoping we don't have any more loss, but with that extra day in shipping, it's never, never good for them, but they're already starting to liven up and uh, move around. You can see them drinking that water, just, just loving it. So this is the most chickens we've got at one time. We decided to kind of double our order here since all the uh, interest in our birds. So this order and our next order are gonna be doubled. So this one's 60 and we've got another 50 coming next shipment. So I'm gonna put this down, get them some heat. And uh, I'm actually quite surprised at how well they were doing and how little loss we had. So they've got some water and some heat and uh, they should do pretty well. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it didn't stretch out too long. We had some uh, things happen we didn't expect with our chickens being a day late, but overall our chickens are doing great. We've had a great year for chickens and uh, eight weeks those little birds will be a delicious dinner somewhere so quite amazing but anyway guys we appreciate you following along if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and don't forget to make the change